Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I, could, I was kind of looking through my videos and I realized that I've never done like a fitness journey. Why not? Now's the time. My fitness journey is kind of a long one, all of, kind of all over the place, but it's mine. Um, so I gotta love it and you know, it is what it is, right? No one's perfect. I'm gonna see if I can find a picture of me like kind of when I was in middle school. I was never overweight per se, but I wasn't thin. Um, I guess you can say I was average. I was about a size eight, sometimes 10, but I did hide it very well since I am so tall. So you couldn't really tell how much I was weighing, but I'm pretty sure that I was probably more than what I am now and I was like 14, 15. I never did sports. My dad wanted to put me in sports. He wanted to put me in volleyball. However, no. But I did do all sorts of dance. I did tap, ballet, Spanish dance, um, jazz, flamenco. I sang, I was in the choir, I did everything that involves being on stage or art. So I did all of that. I wasn't like, if I wasn't active, um, I did, we would rehearse. I went to a middle school that it's in Miami and it's very, very art influenced. Like um, you, the conservatory, you would just walk on this little hallway and there is a conservatory. So they're very, very big on arts. So I was basically every day of the week, I had some sort of activity going on. So I was pretty active. I've, I've always been pretty active. I would do that, I would eat whatever. Coming from a Cuban family, not that they didn't know because I feel like my parents have always kind of eaten okay. Not like we do now, but they've always eaten okay. Um, and they've always tried to watch their weight and stuff. But like at that time, my idea of being healthy was having two snack well cookies for a snack. Um, you know, my tuna salad had mayo and that stuff. Like, so quote unquote, it was healthy, but not really. Um, I thought that it was, cause I've always, ever since eighth grade, that's when I officially started going to the gym. And I was always trying to lose weight. Um, my best friend and I at the time, we, uh, became members of Lady of America. I don't know if there's any Lady of America where you guys are. Um, I know it's like a big thing in Miami. It was an all-girl gym. Um, so during our summer, we so we were transitioning from eighth grade to high school. So of course, like we had to up our game. So we became members, and we would go during the day. Um, and her grandfather would pick us up. When we were done, we'd be like two, three hours there, but two, three hours was not working out. Two, three hours was like, we chit chat, we get on the treadmill, we do like 10 minutes, and then we go figure out, whoa, let's like, we were lily gogging, lily gogging, that's a word, but that's what we were doing. So needless to say, it wasn't really like intense stuff. Um, but we did that for summer. My friend, once like fall came around, she kind of um, stopped going to the gym. And that's kind of when I got my mom involved. And, um, cause I didn't want to go by myself. So I was like, mom, you gotta join this gym with me. Come on, blah, blah, blah. So ever since then, she's worked out. Um, so that was in 2001 and we went to Lady of America. And we would just do cardio, uh, we would do some of the cardio classes. Kind of years passed and once I was like about 17, I was struggling to open a bottle of water. Like this, I couldn't do it. My hands were literally like this. Like, I couldn't. It was just this pain, I could not make a fist for the life of me. Um, and I didn't know what it was. So we went to the doctor, we did like MRIs, we did, they thought it was a pinched nerve. We did a whole bunch of tests and finally it came back that I had arthritis. So, um, needless to say, like I went to a whole bunch of different doctors. They even like said something that I might have lupus. I was freaking out. 
freaking out. Um, the doctor was basically telling me that I was gonna have to give up on all my dreams of like dancing and being active and going to the gym. Forget that. He's like, you're gonna be in a wheelchair and that's gonna be the rest of your life. You know what it is for them to tell you that at 18 years old, like your life is starting. So me, I was, I wouldn't say I went into a depression because I never really did, but I wasn't, it wasn't a good time for me. My mom, I mean like, she is just amazing. Um, and I think that I get my determination and perseverance from her because she's like, no, mm -mm. we're gonna find yourself another doctor. My dad has arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis as well. Um, and she's like, we're gonna go see that doctor and we're not taking this guy's, what is it, 18? You're not gonna be like this, no, 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 no. So we went to my dad's doctor, God sent. God sent, that woman is God sent. She has been my doctor ever since. And she's basically like, no honey, you're fine. Like, you have arthritis, you can live with it. So I just take a pill once a week and knock on wood. There's wood over Okay, knock on wood. Knock on wood, I have been fine. I even forget that I have arthritis. I can make fists, I can lift weights. I do struggle a little bit if the weight is a little heavy. Um, but yeah, okay, sorry, totally off topic. But I feel like you guys need to know this about me. That started and um, I still couldn't make a fist. Like yes, it was a little bit better because I started taking the arthritis pill, but I met this coach. She did um, classes. She was a personal trainer and she also did classes at Lady of America. And um, we kind of spoke to her and we're like, listen, this is what's going on. That fails. So she started training me. She would come to the house, she would train me. Needless to say, she got me like I was back to normal, I can make fist, I can open a bottle of water. Like I credit her so much. She became part of the family, like we're still friends to this day. She did move to Texas, but we're still friends. That's how, how appreciative I am of her. So Carolina, if you're watching this, you have no idea how important you are to me and you made such an impact. She's a triathlete and um, she does marathons and all that. And she was, kept telling us, you gotta go to my team, you gotta go to my runner's team, or a team, blah, blah, blah. I was like, running? I don't know if I like running. Mind you, I would just do like, I was working out with her twice a week. We would do some light weights and we would do like band work. Um, my mom would do it too. And I kinda got my dad into it too. She would do um, workouts in the pool. And then finally she's like, just come one day. Like we meet every Tuesday and Thursday, just come with us. So we did. I love how you just kinda put yourself in here. <laughs> so we kinda went and um, we loved it. And we started training for marathons. Um, well, we first started with 5Ks. I couldn't even run a mile. Like I could not run a mile. I would run two minutes and had to stop and walk because I just couldn't. I thought for sure I was never. I did like my first 5K, I think I did it like in 45 minutes. It was bad. It was really, really bad, but she really got us into it. I met my best friend there um, with that team. She was my maid of honor. Um, well, she was supposed to be my maid of honor, but she got pregnant, whatever. But she's my favorite um, So all of this happens. My dad, he became like hooked to this day. Like he does Ironman marathons. Like he still runs. I don't. But he still runs. My mom still walks. Like it's a part of our life now. After I did pageants, I kind of wasn't getting the results that I wanted. Like I was the skinny fat because I wasn't eating right at all. Um, and I was just really running, not doing any weights. Um, so it was like a skinny fat that I would say. I did a couple of like local pageants and then I went to my first Miss Florida USA. What was I thinking? I don't know what I was thinking. But um, I had gone, my sister, she always lifted weights. So I went and did, I was training with her trainers cause they were bodybuilders. And then I was also doing like the cardio running with my other trainer, I was doing those two things. Um, 
Um, last couple weeks, not really nothing of what I wanted to be and nowhere where I needed to be for a pageant. Um, so I kept doing like some research and then I figured out, you know what? I need to stop on the cardio. When I didn't win Miss Florida that year, and the girl that did win, she completely transformed her body. I'm like, that's what I want. How did you do it? That year, um, after Miss Florida, I was like, I'm gonna compete again, and I promise you that this girl that you see here is not gonna be the same girl. And so be it, for that entire year, I busted my ASS. Can't say bad words. Slam. I gave it up. So I busted my booty, and then you'll see this. However, I went a little overboard and I was very thin. I am 5'9 and a half, almost 5'10, and I was 125 pounds when I left to go because you have like a whole week of Miss Florida. That week, you're barely eating, you're all over the place, you know. I must have lost like another five pounds, so I was like 120 pounds. That was way too thin. However, I did meet these, um, this couple, Uni and Willie. They are from Somi Fitness in Miami. It's actually the same gym that JLo and Ava train. I'm so cool. <laughs> but I do, I've met their trainer a couple of times, Dud Romero, um, at that gym. And I met them and they just changed my life. They introduced me into training and dieting like a bikini competitor and I was hooked. I was hooked. Ever since then, that has been like where I've been at. How do I go from this to this? Well, my friends, um, a lot a lot of hard work and a lot a lot of years i'm still nowhere where i want to be like my inspiration would be chanel colette and brooke ends like i would love to be the like if they were to have a baby that would be me that's what i would want <laughs> when i was with them they they were a little bit expensive so i couldn't keep up with um training with them and um i didn't win miss florida unfortunately political reasons it's it was an S-H-I-T hole, if you ask me, but whatever. Um, but I was also kind of aged out, so I still wanted to be on stage. So I started bikini competitions. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, uh-uh, I lied. Okay, so after Miss Florida, um, I went, I lived in New York for a little bit with my family. Um, for like school reasons and just wanted to experience like life outside of Miami for a little bit. Um, so I lived in New York for a little and I decided that I was gonna compete for Miss New York USA. So um, I didn't really have a lot of time to um, prepare. I kind of just did it on my own. I knew more or less from like, I was doing what I did to prepare for Miss Florida. And so I competed in Miss New York, again, didn't win. But the girl that had won the previous year, Joanna, I forgot her last name. She competed and then she did bodybuilding competitions. And I was like, that's what I want. Especially at that, after that competition is when I aged out. So, but I wasn't ready to like, put down my crown and my clear shoes, like, no. So I started competing. And um, I went with, I think she was with Team Bombshell. So I went ahead and was like, well, she did it, I'm gonna go with Team Bombshell. They were based in Florida, they were really well known. So I was Team Bombshell. You can tell the sarcasm. <laughs> I was new to this industry. I had no idea. I came from a pageant world. This looked pretty pageantry. I didn't know any better. So I went with them 
and I did my first competition in West Palm Beach and I won. That was in April 2012 and I won. Um, so I was like, this is good. Like I won, like imagine I came from pageants and like it was super hard to win and I won this on my first try. I was like, whoa, this is amazing. So I wanted to keep on competing. I spoke to my coaches and they're like, yeah, do like the next one do one in like a couple months that'll be good for you okay yeah sure why not i did the typical thing like you could win you go and like stuff your face from like such a restrictive diet you go and stuff your face that day i stuff my face the next day and the next day and then i was like no 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 i need to calm down like i told my coaches and they're like okay you need to calm down like let's Lower your calories a little bit. Okay. Worked out, worked out. Wasn't losing weight. Lower calories again. Up the cardio. Wasn't losing weight. There was a point that I was at about 900 calories and they wanted me to do three hours of cardio. Say what? Yeah, that did not work well. So I was getting frustrated, nothing was happening. Um, they had so many girls that I was kinda, and I wasn't, you know, their star athlete, so I was kinda put under the burner. Um, so I went and found another team, Team Edge, with Ingrid Romero um, and her husband Joe. Um, and I told them, listen, I come from Team Bombshell, I have a feeling, like that's when I started reading up about metabolic adaptation and all this stuff and I was like, I have a feeling I have that. And they're like, yeah, you do. And they were like, I wanted to compete, I wanted to compete. So, and they did tell me, I don't think you should, but I was like, no, 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 I want to. So I competed. I was nowhere where I should have been, but I wanted to compete. I competed in LA. I even did like a workout with them, blah, blah body still wasn't responding. So I trained with them a little bit more, whatever. I've been through like a whole bunch of coaches and all that. Um, then that's kind of like when I decided I want to become a personal trainer because what happened to me, I don't want it to happen to the girls. Like, and you don't know any better. So you're getting results by eating nothing. So you're like, yeah, this is, this is it. This is the thing. No, it really isn't. It really isn't at all. So um, I guess you can say that I really started heavy lifting and eating right in 2011 for Miss Florida. And then from there, I kind of just um, kept that going. I never really, I knew to eat healthy, but I didn't know like obviously what I know now. Um, and that's honestly like consistency and having your body, your body recover correctly or I'm still not 100% from my metabolism which is why I'm going like to see doctors and stuff because it's just not 100% I'm not sure if it's a pill that I'm taking for anxiety or what I'm trying to get to the bottom of it so I think that that's also enabled me from getting the muscles that I desire but I do understand now much more about the body how it works eating properly recovery I understand all of that and I think that it's important for you to have some sort of knowledge on this in order to be successful because you will hear so many different things and you know herbalife and um shakeology and all this stuff they, they basically have you eating nothing or keto like and it's so much more than that you know what i mean it's you don't want a diet it's happened to me i've gone on these crazy diets and then i gain it like this that's not what it's about. You'll get results, don't get me wrong, you're gonna get results, you're gonna feel great, but then you're gonna gain everything back and more. And that's not what you want. You wanna be able to learn to live a healthy lifestyle. You wanna learn to make better decisions. 
However, if you go out to eat and you feel like having a burger and fries, you're gonna have a burger and fry. And you're not gonna feel guilty about it. Why? Because you know that it's okay. That you know that, okay, my body was craving this for whatever reason, but tomorrow I'm gonna go back eating the good stuff for my body. And that's it. So stuff that I guess I've learned along the way and I wish I could have told that 20 something year old back in the day is don't beat yourself up if you're not getting the results that you want. Don't go eat a burger and then kill yourself at the gym. That's not, that's not good, you know? I used to do that all the time and I wish I could tell myself don't, it's okay, it's okay. Something else that I've learned is don't start yourself before a photo shoot. As a matter of fact, I look back and photo shoots that I would start myself, I actually look flat and more of like a skinny, flaccid look than I do now that I'm not starving myself. I eat exactly the same as I'm eating. I don't try to dehydrate, anything like that, and I look better. Oh, major thing. Don't dehydrate your skin. Don't, don't dehydrate, don't stop drinking water. You get premature wrinkles and it's really bad for your face. Don't take steroids, Monica. I wish I would have known that. And that wasn't even like I was that young, but I wish I would have known that. I really do like that. That was stupid. That was desperation. And I think something that I would definitely tell my younger self is do your research. Research more, think about it. Think about the long run. Don't just look at the little, the little end results. No, 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 learn to look at the future, the long run. That's something I never did when I was young. If you're watching this, don't do things for the very instant gratification. Think about the long run. That could be a problem that's happening with my body now is because I took those damn steroids. And final thing that I still have to learn a little bit, but stretch. Uh -huh. I would not have pulled my back so many times if I would learn how to stretch. I would not have a sciatica situation right now if I would learn how to stretch. <sighs> but I guess, you gotta live and learn. And if I didn't make those mistakes, then I wouldn't be here giving you the lesson. Not really a lesson, but yeah. That's something that I would definitely tell myself. And if anything you're gonna get out of this video, um, it's do your research, listen to your body, Make sure you know what you're putting into your body. Don't just listen to every like what every person out there says, even if they say they're professional or coaches. Do your own research and make sure that what they're saying is correct. All right, guys, well, that's my fitness journey. I still, maybe in like a couple years, I'll do another one because I still have such a long way to go, um, but I've learned so much and I figured that why not just show I think I've come far and you gotta be proud of how far you've come, you know? Even though you might not be where you wanna be, but be proud of it and own that S-H-I-T. If you guys agree with me and you are gonna start doing your research, give this video a thumbs up. If you guys like my fitness journey. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you guys want me to do more videos, give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> oh, and give a video a thumbs up for Dutch. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so, please. And I'll catch you in the next one.